Okay, this is my winter vehicle. It's a 1997 Mercury Mountaineer. Real nice car. Take a look underneath it. Oh, we don't get any leaks or anything underneath there. Real clean. Try and get a good view for it. Hopefully this comes out better. It's looking right now. It's got the V8 all-wheel drive, privacy glass. It's kind of surprised to see that it doesn't have the dual exhaust. Only got one exhaust. Let's see, uh, uh, take a look around. Take a look inside the car. It's got the leather seats, the Mountaineer embroidery on it. Leather is in good shape. No rips or tears or anything. Take a look at some other leather. On the back here we got the uh, separate um, rear air conditioning and we also got the uh, headphones so people in the back can listen to their own music if they want to on the radio. Uh, the seats hold down here. See, going down the back, we've got a little bit of a bed liner. Kind of keep the nice carpet underneath there. In good shape. So we fold down the seats. Take a look at the back of the car. Nice to have a bed liner back there so you can put your equipment or stuff in the back and you don't get a carpet all dirty. Start up the car here. It's also got the running boards too. Help your dog get in the car or something. See, it's only got 135,000 miles on it. Start it up. <sighs> Listen to it run a little bit. a little bit cold out. See the idle's normal around a thousand. Take a look under the hood. It's got the uh, 5 liter V8, 
Mustang made popular in the uh, Mustang made those engines popular with its GT uh, GT Mustang GTs. So some people tell you got a Mustang motor in the car. Nice big engine, kind of slow on acceleration. You can see it's real clean in there. Hasn't got any leaks, any oil, anything like that. Sounds good. I kind of feel it's a little slow, but I mean, you know, it's an SUV. It's not, it doesn't need to be fast. Good, gets the job done. Kind of surprised that's reliability. A lot, a lot more reliable than a Durango I used to have. Uh, one thing that happens a lot in these cars, I like to show this, is uh, the exhaust recircul gas recirculator sensor usually goes bad in these a lot of the Fords that had these aluminum uh, pressure sensors because I don't know if you can see in the video or not it's made of aluminum so a lot of moisture gets inside the, the internal parts and the corrodes the internals so you usually have to replace those in a lot of these cars like the Explorers, the Aviators, the Mountaineers and they come with plastic ones so they don't have to deal with the same problem. There's a TSB or a technical service bulletin out for that part. So I thought that was kind of something I want to put on the video. Kind of see. Get a feel for it.